We're on a hill. Not on the boat anymore. Plans change for us and we're actually heading north now. So while we're in Brisbane, we're actually really close to our friends and family and we haven't seen them in ages. This is the bar where it all started. Oh, we did it! So passionate about dinghies. Classic us to unpick a full panel of the sail. This is Slim. Three knots on the face, Skipper! I'm so the Skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. No! We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. We're on a hill, not on the boat anymore. We're up in the hinterland behind Mullumbimby at Soph's parents' place. Why are we here? Um. <laughs> Why are we here? The plans changed for us and we're actually heading north now. So while we're in Brisbane, we're actually really close to our friends and family and we haven't seen them in ages. I particularly haven't seen mine in Yonks. We're gonna visit them all now. We'll show you a little bit about I don't know, our lives and where we grew up and where we met. And then, I don't know, we can guilt free go north. Welcome to our home lives when we're, this is our land lives. This is like our stomping grounds when we're not on stomping on the, on the goat. When we're not floating on the goat. When we're not floating on a goat. <laughs> we're heading down to the town, Mullumbimby, and we're gonna get some lunch with Simon's mum. where the smell of incense and dreadlocks fill the air. The biggest little town in Australia, full of weird and wonderful characters. Oh, I've got to ask mum if she wants chilli. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Where we are actually is we're at the lake behind my dad's house where me and my mate sort of grew up. So we used to frolic about on this lake every afternoon after school and all weekends and build little cubby houses out in the forest. No, this is not what we do every single time we're home as well. I've been meaning to show so this lake, but this goes all the way to the Brunswick River, which is um where we're going for a beer tonight. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're gonna paddle our way from here to Brunza. We should be there in about 12 hours. Oh, elegant. <laughs> elegant entrance. Try and straighten you up here. Someone came in a bit wonky. <laughs> this is the bar where it all started. Oh, this is a good time to show you guys. I told Soph that I'd had a little bit of sailing experience before. I was scanning the shelves at Simon's dad's and came across this photo here. This is Simon's sailing experience. I was like, yeah, I've sailed before, Soph, it'll be fine. But now that we've been through a couple of like actual bars, when we look at this, we're just like, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. Anyway, go on. Hippie camps and passionate locals. Oh. 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 Sorry, my phone. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah. It's called the something bacon passion fruit ale. If you're curious, I'm gonna kill myself. You are. How is not having to hold the camera yourself? Just sit back and drink beers once. I'm always drinking beers. This is Mitcho. Eric. He said he. He would. Right, so we've picked up the boomerang, done our washing, and you get the dinghy we're gonna fix, and we're heading back to the boat. Trust the old Steve, we'll get her floating again, don't you worry. Hold up, remember how we tried to fix that dinghy and shockingly failed? Well, this is it. We swapped it for the one we were borrowing, and now we've brought that home, we're picking up the broken one, and we're gonna go get that fixed. I know, it's a crazy, confusing, diggy situation, but we're getting there. and I haven't looked up the address yet. I need to do that. Anyway, we're dropping the dinghy off before we get to Brisbane. And I'm sorry, Chili. We were just saying there is something about- I'm gonna bottom out here. Ooh. I'm gonna bottom. Oh, oh, we did it. Watch out. I was gonna say watch out for the stern. Did you watch out for the stern? <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know what it is about dinghy repair lads, what, what that is, it's, they're just top blokes, they're like always, so, always nice. so nice. And so passionate about dinghies, like, they know everything yeah. and they're like, oh yeah, that's beautiful world, it seemed inflatable, yeah, yeah, no. flexible, she's stunning. I think they like our dinghy because it's like, like one of the old original French Zodiacs, they were saying, and always, they're always like checking it out. Anyway, they were legends, Marine Safe Australia. We're just gonna get the heady down off the furler so we can take it somewhere in the morning, hopefully. That's why we need to take it there. Look at all those rips. So if some time to sail, it's currently being held on by, ooh, by that good looking flipper right there. Look at that. Sail holding flipper. I'm trying to do a bowline, but completely failing because- Do you want me to hold the thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so because we don't have like a good furler. You're on the GoPro. Welcome. All right, back to Shnee. Okay. So this is what's holding the heady up. Yes. If, I, if we let go of this, we're going to lose this rope out of the block at the top and then when we want to get the heady back on then one of us will have to go up the mast to re-thread it and we don't like going up the mast Can't so know. we're gonna do a bow line here do a bow line to this one as well and then so we won't lose it so yep. it should just be a long rope that comes down here so when we're ready we can just pull on that to bring it back down again correct him on that make sense like i love getting simon up the mast because he's scared of heights because he's scared of heights <laughs> it when we were bringing it down. It looks like when you scrunch up paper to throw it in the bin at an office. I don't know if that was the best way to do it. Definitely not. We just completely ruined any folding that we had. Well like let's just like slither it off the boat and then we can like fix it up. Now we just like need to completely refill and fold it. Graceful. We just need to get it there. Yeah. Huh? 
So we took the head sail to a sailmaker and it was all good and well. They're going to get it done for us pretty quickly. But we're going to save $200 if we get the UV off ourselves. We brought the sail back with us and we're going to do that now. And it begins. The guy said to work from the backside because that way the threads should just pull right through them and not sitting there having to pluck them all, pluck them and pick them all out. Yeah, so if you're broke or money conscious, like we are, before you take your sale into a sale maker, you might save a couple of pennies if you do this prior. I think this is going to be fun. I think we're going to have a great time. Although he was like, do it with a couple of beers, I'm like, well, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. So we'll probably need Dough, a case. No. You're I'm, saying. If it was like an hour job, you'd only have like a couple beers, but I'm like, to open a beer while you're doing this would just be dangerous. Why are you doing it on the back side? So then you can go to the front and go like this. And it just comes out and it rips all the stitches out with it and it's just like clean. No. So satisfying. Classic us to accidentally just unpick a full panel of the sale. Can you imagine? <laughs> that was so close. Oh, that was really close. That was so close. I had you sitting on this. With the grip wrapped around and it somehow just that fell. Metal thing. It, wasn't it fell just here. You, the camera. In my heart. That was scary. Simon would have had to go for a swim and get the camera to get the SD card. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about swimming. That. that would have been a bad way to end the afternoon. A terrible way to end the afternoon. That would have required a whole case of brown lemonades. Lemonades? Lemonades. I believe my name is Steve. Do what chili does. <laughs> Cleaning up the mess, except if it was chili, you should just be going. <laughs> playing it everywhere like a little drongo. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay. Oh, it's plenty of greys. I think yeah, that's the I best think one. I think it's that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, it doesn't fade too badly. Yeah. Mostly like the, you know, your reds and stuff and your blues will fade a bit. Yeah. But the, the greys are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, UV threads. We've got some time to kill now that everything's been dropped off for service. So I've decided to spoil Nakama with a bit of cosmetic love. What are you doing? Uh, just everyday normal things at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, your, your normal morning of buffing a boat. Boat has needed this for a really long time. I like did a really toxic acid on it yesterday. I did this when we were out of the water but I didn't seal it with anything so of course it just sort of like made it worse when it got exposed to the elements. So I thought this time if I'm gonna do it I need to actually follow up with some products to protect the paint and gel coat. So that's what we're trying to do but we're in a rush. So I'm doing it at like seven o'clock. We only bought the buffer at like, I don't know, seven o'clock last night. And then we've got to zoom back to Byron, get my car registered in New South Wales, find somewhere to stash it, and then get back up here and then get out of the marina before they try and take more money off us. Boat things. Anyway, I'm gonna use my feet to hold Soph against the boat because she keeps sanding herself out into the ocean. Come on, we hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These little string beans can't do things sometimes. I mean, they can do things, but only for a certain amount of time before they're like falling off me. <sighs> How I'd wish to have some gym arms. Okay, so I'm sat there buffing and I'm making the world's most perfect Spanish omelet. Look at that, you golden little joy of goodness. And voila, the tortilla de patatas. So I clearly had the hard job this morning. <laughs> This is insane!
We picked up the sale yesterday as well. We're gonna get it back up on the furler if you wanna watch us do that. <laughs> Hey guys, how you going? You're on the mast. You're on the mast, I'm Slim. This is Soph, doing stuff at the sale. How's your day been? Hope it's been good. We've been up since like six this morning. It's brutal. Yeah. Hi, we got new strap. So we've gone for a, like a charcoal gray. I don't know if we've consulted you about this. Gone for a gray to match the text of Nakama on the hull. <laughs> So in theory, if we just pull this one, it will go up. Not in theory, that's that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Come down a bit. Oh, this is the bit that sucks. We need to bring that halyard forward. We just put it the wrong way. How bloody genius are we? Okay, we're both getting well, I'm getting extremely confused. I'm like, oh, you could have, we could have, we put the sail around the wrong way, but the sail only goes one way. Man, furlers are one of those things that my brain cannot wrap its head around. That might sound really really dumb like yes they're, they're super simple when they're in action but trying to set it up you're trying to think about which way it rolls but it's the opposite way to the sail confusing anyway we did the sail right i thought we were gonna have to take it down again but then simon was like wait no you, there's only one way to put the sail and i was like mm. now we are redoing the furling line yeah. the drum line <sighs> But my brain can't comprehend this. No, but it's weird because <laughs> undoing it is pulling it off, and I don't know. The whole, it's all back front loop. Oof, you're a bit heavy on the bow, babe. <laughs> Look at that waterline. <laughs> Pushing her poor little nose down. <laughs> anyway, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We just need it. We need to get our shit sorted now. We need to quickly pack up everything because we're gonna run late. Um, it's 10.34. Yeah, we have 25 minutes to get into the car. Okay. All right. Bye for now, not forever. Mwah. Thanks for watching, guys. Join us next week as we get out of the marina. We swim with some fishes. Oh my god! And put up a spinnaker completely wrong. Ah! All before heading into Mooloolaba. We'll see you then. <laughs>